So, does the second cylinder, does it kick on whenever it runs for a little bit? No, it's, uh, it's just running fouling on the out the plug, I believe. Okay. Uh, with plug, I might have a plug. I'll look around. Anyway, wow, look at this. Uh, this that's funny. This sticker says never broke, and what it, it's not living up to the sticker, is it? No, I don't think so. I think it might actually be covering a scratch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, you got something going on here. I think it's been dropped a couple times. Oh, you know what? That's probably now that you realize that that's probably true it probably is covering up something we had something like that let me show you come over here and i'll show you we had a cover-up deal ourselves uh on this bike here uh, uh when we got this these strips are on here and uh we thought it was just really cool at first but we actually found out that there is a uh, crack you can feel it you can See, like right here, there's actually a crack. Like a... Stephen, tell them how we had a cover-up deal ourselves. It... So a guy had saw this bike, and this guy's relative saw this bike, and and uh, when I had it up for trade, and uh, so the uncle, which was his uncle, notified his brother, and his brother notified his son, and hit the guy. Uh, contacted there's me and said this used to be his old bike. Scratch and I underneath like, yeah, there. This guy just pulled my leg. Right. And uh, so he went on with this long old spill. And I, well, I said, uh, if you want to see it, just come on out here. Well, he wrote it. Big old boy. Bigger than you. Uh, come riding out here and uh, told me the story. So when he was a teenager, uh, and this was built in 2004, so he was a teenager in 2004, his dad there used to be a, a custom shop in Clarksville. Uh, ordered all these parts and the custom shop built this bike for his dad. And when it's, it was built, uh, he wasn't happy with it, the build, and so he sold it to his brother and his brother wouldn't pay what he wanted. And so in the middle of the night, they went and got the bike and he said it had a crack in the fender. And I said, well, I said, I put my fingernail in and I said, I guess the crack's still there because there it is. He yeah. said, yeah, he remembered it being this long. That, well, when you're a kid, I guess things seem bigger than what they are. But, <laughs> and it's only about that long. And so, but anyway, he was just so happy to see this bike again because he remembered it, his dad building it when he was a kid. And, and uh, he'd always wondered what had happened to it. And he said, if I ever get rid of it, that he wanted first dibs and if he didn't get it please get the contact information because he wanted to get it back one of these days so, so yeah it was fascinating so was the story and we made a, a, a video all about it so yeah the man came story. up yeah it's very fascinating that uh the child uh got to see the boy